Many years ago, Mary was on her way to Lourdes. And so she stopped in to say hello to her son one morning. Jesus was in his office, and he was taking a look at all the prayer requests that he had piled up on his desk. There are so many coming from everywhere. And so it was going to be a busy day. Well, Mary knocked, and Jesus said, come in. And Mary, good morning, son. How are you? Oh, I'm fine, Mom. I, I just got, I'm going to be really busy today. Well, I just want to let you know, I'm on my way to Lourdes. I'm going to take care of that for you. Oh, thank you, Mom. I'm glad. If you would just take care of that for me. And um, you've been such a great help to me. You're such a wonderful mother. And also, uh, I just want to, you know, uh, thank you for your gentleness, your kindness, and in, in dealing with my children, you know, how they are. Yes, I know some. We've got to be patient with them. And I just want to say one thing to you, son. Um, I know that there's some of the saints that can take care of some of those things for you, too, like St. Francis. I think you can handle this and that or whatever. So I can go over with you and we can take a look at the particular saints to help you to lift some of that burden on you. Oh, thanks, Mom. I appreciate it. You know, the saints have been so good. They've been helping me and everything. The angels, all the guarding angels. And it's just wonderful, you know, being up here with you all and everything. It was really rough on earth for me. I know, son. I was there. I know, Mom. Thank you for being there. And so, basically, that story, or what that story was about, was about heaven. Heaven. Because we all want to go there. We all want to go to heaven. But there's one thing about heaven we need to realize. It's relational. There's going to be relationships there, just like we have here on earth. Relationships. Jesus, as we all know, is relational. He established relationships. That was one of the main things that he was all about, to establish relationships. And so, heaven is relational. We're going to see some of our relatives there. And we're going to see some that we haven't seen in years and there's some that we don't even know from generations back. It's going to be pretty interesting. So heaven is relational. Jesus, Mary, Joseph, and all the angels and saints. We have to realize that they basically are working together for us. Because we got a ways to go. We're not in a big hurry. But we got a ways to go. Now, on earth. Let's take a look at Jesus. On earth. Jesus could have done it all by himself. He could have said, all right, I'm here. Y'all went astray, stuff like that, you know, and I don't want any interference. I'm going to do this all myself. Because if, if you want to do anything right, do it yourself. That's what I'm going to do. So I don't need anybody's help. I'm going to correct everything. He could have done that. He could have definitely, he could have took care of the whole thing. No mistakes. Not having to deal with the apostles. What a bunch of goofy guys, you know what I mean? They just weren't getting the message and so on. He was so patient with them. And poor Mary, you know, she's trying to help her son with her gentleness. Because, you know, Jesus got a little bit ticked off every once in a while. It says that, you know, in the scriptures. Okay, so he could have done it all by himself, but he didn't. And that's a very important thing for us to realize. Because he's relational. He had 12 apostles. One didn't work out. Well, you know. And of course, you know, then you got all the disciples. You got all these people. Okay. Now, this is the way it goes if we put it all together in a comprehensive way. God the Father oversees everything. He's like the overseer. He created everything. He's looking over it all. He's everywhere. Okay, the overseer. Now, Jesus is relational. It's all about relationships. And Jesus is all about relationships still with us here on earth. He's our Savior. We're relating to him. Is he relating to us? Today we're relating to him. And so that's what he is. And the Holy Spirit makes sure everything works well. He's sort of like the maintenance man. Yeah. Sort of like. He makes sure everything is working well. And so he's sort of like also the energy manager. 
if you want to look at it that way. I said, one way to, to look at it. Now, we crown Mary. We're going to crown Mary today. Why do we do that? Why do we take the time to crown Mary? Well, the reason why we take the time to crown Mary is because we are relational and Mary's part of our family and she's in heaven and Jesus loves her. He wants us to love her. So Mary, Jesus, Joseph, all the angels and saints. And so we're, we're honoring her because she helps us. She helps her son. And she always says, listen to my son. That's her main message. And so we thank her for that. So she intercedes for us and helps us as our mother. We need to have that. It's relational. It's relational. Mother, father. It's all relational. Very important thing to realize. And so Jesus is not our mother. Well, that's just an obvious thing. Jesus is not our mother. He is our brother. Look at it that way. It's relational. We're talking about family here. Jesus is not up there all alone. You don't want to be alone. Nobody wants to be alone, really. And so God is not our brother. He is our father. Now that's family. This world depends on family. As it has always been said, where the family goes, so does society. And we're seeing that now more than ever before. I see it all the time. Family determines the well-being of our society. And there's no way to get around that. And so, we ask ourselves, so why is it this way? Why am I explaining things this way as one way to explain things? Why is it this way? Because heaven is relational. One thing that we realize, earth is not heaven. Earth is not heaven. We sometimes use cliche things. Oh, I feel like I'm in heaven. Yeah, right. You know, Earth is not heaven. It is a, look at this is one way to look at it. It is a temporary oasis in the desert of space. God, that is so true. You know, it's like the man on the moon. Remember that we landed on the moon? Put the American flag there, it belongs to us. <laughs> the moon belongs to the United States. But anyway, here they are on this barren rock. There's nothing. And there's this little blue marble in the middle of the blackness and the darkness. A pretty little thing. A little oasis in space. And now they're going to Mars. The other day I was looking at some footage of what, whatever that thing was they put on Mars. It's scanning the horizon and territory. There's nothing there. Nothing but a bunch of rocks. And so, this little world we live in is an exception to the rule. And so this is a temporary oasis in the desert of space that we need to be rescued from. It's all about being rescued. That's salvation. That's why Jesus came. He came to rescue us because we weren't doing very well. We were heading in the wrong direction. So we got to get it straight. So, don't ever put Jesus in a room and keep him there all alone. I think some people do that. Jesus is all alone, doing all that work, in his office all day. <laughs> so much to do. And so, and don't try to keep him to yourself. Don't try to keep Jesus to yourself. Mary does not want to be separated from her son. That's obvious, that's logical, that's true. If you believe in family, and if you believe in heaven, and if you want to go there, it's relational. And so, Jesus is much more, much more than your own isolated personal savior. He is our personal savior, but we can't isolate him because when we think about that, Jesus is much more than your own isolated personal savior. He's our Savior. And when I say He's our Savior, I'm talking about the church. And that pretty much kind of sums it up. Amen.